Kahiver and Gahanri struts down the block. The evening was oddly silent. He was the only soul Kahivering along. As only he can, hence his nickname. His real name? Tim. The tenements seemed as eerily hollow as the streets empty. The stars cut through the dark space like hot blazers. The Honnery, for a moment, thought this seemed off, for he never seen stars so bright, nor the flock so void of light and clamor. The thought quickly vanished as concentration on his behavior took precedence. First he behaved his left side ahead, and slowly Gahan his right side forth like that. Suddenly, the wind grew strong, fast. Dirt and debris along the curve side wafted up hard through the bottom of his pants and whipped up into his boxes. He winced in pain as the street dust pelted his body. Quickly held his hat flush to his crown and shuttered his eyelids tight. His lips and jowls flapped rapidly and slapped his face. The blistering wind made the recently quiet street deafening. A thundering and bizarre sound cut through the roaring wind. Light blinded him. His attempts to shutter his eyes became futile as they began to unravel despite his best efforts. His eyelids slowly started getting pulled from his skull toward the stars above. That's when he saw it the UFO. Sounded like music, otherworldly, mystifying. He felt a pull like a vacuum all over his body. And first it delivered intense pain that multiplied and culminated. Subsided, a placid calm came over him. He felt extracted from all. He, it, there was nothing, yet everything continually replenishing time and space until there, and he was back on his block. In the heavens, he beat the scene hovering above like a doorway to what he was currently experiencing. In that floating landscape, he observed himself witnessing another identical soaring scene in perpetuity, as if he stood betwixt two facing mirrors, the flying doorway, and all the doorways within that doorway slowly ascended toward the brilliantly colored spacecraft until it was engulfed and vanished in the night air. Stars be detected through the smog. Lights now on in all the apartments. Music setting off the car alarms parked along the sidewalks. The odors of the folks cooking dinner and the fools on the block up to no good. When the Heaver and the Hunnery observed this, he quickly became aware and clear about what he needed to do. 
himself. He took his left side and gave it forward. And then he got on his right. He ambled down the block. Quick nod to those he passed. There he goes. Get heaver and got on Get heaver and down the block. Nobody can. Nobody said. And he smiled.